Hey, how's it going, friends? My name is Angel Alex, and welcome back to the channel. We are back with some more of Mass Effect. I am super ready to dive deep into this game. Uh, I want to thank you guys for all the support on the last episode. It was insane. All the tips you guys gave me, all the info. I really, really appreciate it. You guys got me hyped now, and I'm super excited to dive deeper into this game. That video now has like 16k i think views which is just crazy so thank you guys so much for all your support now last episode we created our character here alex shepherd who is a engineer and basically we jumped into space last episode and we were searching for a beacon that beacon actually ended up affecting us somehow we saw some visions and now we're back on, I think, the ship, or I'm not exactly sure where we are. <laughs> uh, so many things to learn. But yeah, um, I think we're supposed to be walking around and talking to some people about what happened when we were uh, around the beacon, I guess. Commander, I'm glad to see you're okay. Losing Jenkins was hard on the crew, and I'm glad we didn't lose you too. Yeah, I wish I could have done something to save him. I was there. You did everything right. It was just bad luck. It's been a hell of a shakedown, Cruz. Our first mission ends with one Spectre killing another. The Citadel Council's not going to be happy about that. Probably use it to lever more concessions out of the Alliance. Seems like you've got a good grasp of the situation. You a career man? Yeah, a lot of biotics are. We're not restricted, but we sure don't go undocumented. May as well get a paycheck for it. Besides, my father served. I made him proud when I enlisted. Eventually. But is that why you're here? Because of your family? Uh, it's not important right now. I'm in for the action. We're, we were farmers. I'll, I'll, I'll open up to him. My family were homesteaders on Mindwar. I'm the only one left. But I've moved beyond that. Oh, that's right. A coos. I imagine that bought you any posts in the fleet. Word is we're heading for the Citadel, ma'am. Can you, uh, tell me why? Uh, I can't say. Just follow your orders. We want to brief the council. Um... I'll tell them. The captain I'm... hopes the ambassador can get an audience with the council. Tell them what Saren's been up to. Makes sense. They'd probably like to know he's not working for them anymore. Whatever happens, we'll be ready, Commander. I like being called Commander. <laughs> Hi, miss. Yes, Commander? Is there something you need? Personal How questions. did you end up serving on an Alliance ship? I enlisted right out of med school. Earth always seemed boring to me. Too safe, too secure. I figured the colonies were teeming with exotic adventure. I wanted to travel the stars, tending the wounds of tough soldiers with piercing eyes and sensitive souls. <laughs> Turns out military life isn't quite as romantic as I'd imagined. <laughs> But humanity needs the Alliance if we want to keep expanding through the Traverse. And the Alliance always needs good doctors. So I stayed on to do my part. Any regrets? Ever think you made the wrong choice? Sometimes I think about opening a private practice back on Earth. Or maybe taking a position at one of the new med centers out in the colonies. But there's something special about working on soldiers. If I left the Alliance now, I'd feel like I was abandoning them. What do you know about Captain Anderson? I've served with him for a few tours now. He knows when to let things slide and when to crack the whip. The crew knows he's seen pretty much anything they'll ever run into. And he cares about the people under his command. How well do you know the lieutenant? I'd never worked with him before this mission. But he has an impressive service record, over a dozen special commendations. Tends to keep to himself, though. Maybe because of the headaches. It's not easy being an L2. An L2? What does that have to do with it? Well, most biotics now use the L3 implants. Lieutenant Alenko was wired with the old L2 configuration. Sometimes there are complications. What kind of complications? Severe mental disabilities, insanity, crippling physical pain. There's a long list of horrific side effects. Caden's lucky. He just gets migraines. I should go. Goodbye, Commander. All right, so um, I didn't realize <laughs> you guys were telling me in the comments that uh, I get XP for talking to people, which is great. So we're gonna be doing a lot of chit chat, and, and uh, plus it helps because obviously we're new to the series. I need to learn as much as I can, but it's obviously gonna be extremely hard. I'm glad you're all okay, Commander. 
The crew could use some good news after what happened to Jenkins. I should go. No, uh, he'll be missed. Jenkins was a valuable part of this crew. Part of me feels guilty over what happened. If Jenkins was still alive, I might not be here. You're a good soldier, Williams. You belong on the Normandy. Thanks, Commander. I appreciate that. Things were pretty rough down there. Are you okay? I've seen friends die before. It comes with being a Marine. But to see my whole unit wiped out, and you never get used to seeing dead civilians. But things would have been a lot worse if you hadn't shown up. I don't understand people that are like this in games. Like, I just can't be rude to people like that unless they've done something mean to me, you know? Like, you fucked up. The mission's failed because of you. No. We couldn't have done it without you, Williams. Thanks, Commander. I have to admit, I was a little worried about being assigned to the Normandy. It's nice when someone makes you feel welcome. Oh, I'm glad to have. I think you're gonna fit in here just fine, Williams. Thanks, Commander. Oh. Paragon. Okay, yeah. So you guys were telling me about the whole Paragon thing as well, and I forget the other one. Paragon something else. I think it's supposed to be the ERR? I forget. Um, and you guys were talking to me about my... What is it? Squad? Leveling up. That I shouldn't auto-level. I have six points, too. Okay. Um, and I should up my charm. So let's, let's up my charm for sure. Let's purchase... I can undo these too. Okay, thank fuck. Okay, because I just auto leveled. Um, let's up my charm. Uh, I want to be able to have access to all the the um, like conversation options. So up my charm. Should I up my intimidate? Um, First aid, increases squad healing. I don't have any of the hacking and stuff yet. Basic armor. Pistol, decryption. Um, engineer. Uh, I did watch a video, uh, like tips, like things you should know before playing Mass Effect. And uh, I think depending on whatever class you choose, you kind of want to stick to leveling up that. So I think, should I be leveling up engineer as an engineer? Is that, an, is that really important? Should I just focus on that? Um, I'll, I'll level it up uh, twice, and then I'll level up maybe pistols, because that's the one thing I don't have yet. Okay. I'm glad I can undo some of this stuff, too. It's nice. Okay. Cool. Uh, equipment. I don't need to really worry about that right now. Okay. Let's see. What, what are we doing here? talk to these guys. I love the atmosphere, dude. This just feels so cool. Awesome. Hi, hi. Um, there's a door there. What's over here? Ah, I was just talking to Captain Anderson. Can I talk to him more? Go speak to Joker when you're ready. Tell him to bring the Normandy into dock. Ah, uh, okay, okay, okay. Joker. He's probably back here, I guess. Also, somebody told me Seth Green is in this, but I knew I recognized his voice. I was like, he sounds... I almost said it in the video. I was like, he sounds like the guy from Robot Chicken. And I just wasn't thinking Seth Green at the time. Hello. Yeah, that's right. Salute. Salute to me. Is this? I added some stuff to my. I'm glad you're okay, Commander. Losing Jenkins was hard enough on the crew. All right, Joker's back here. God, this is so cool. Good timing, Commander. I was just about to bring us into the Citadel. See that taxpayer money at work. See, he's Seth Green. That's just crazy. He sounds obviously he's in Robot Chicken, so he sounds just like him. Look at the size of that ship. 
the Ascension, flagship of the Citadel fleet. Well, size isn't everything. <laughs> Why so touchy, Joker? I'm just saying you need firepower, too. <laughs> that monster. Its main gun could rip through the barriers in any ship in the Alliance fleet. Good thing it's on our side, then. Citadel Control, this is SSV Normandy, requesting permission to land. Stand by for clearance, Normandy. Clearance granted. You may begin your approach. Transferring you to an Alliance operator. Roger, Alliance Tower. Normandy out. God, this is like a fucking movie. Normandy, this is Alliance Tower. Please proceed to Dock 422. I was gonna say, why haven't they made this movie yet? But obviously, they would probably fuck that up, so. <laughs> they have the loading screens, but I can't. don't even see them because it's just. This is an outrage! Quick. The Council would step in if the Geth attacked a Turian colony? The Turians don't found colonies on the borders of the Terminus systems, Ambassador. Humanity was well aware of the risks when you went into the Traverse. What about Saren? You can't just ignore a rogue specter. I demand action! You don't get to make demands of the Council, Ambassador. Citadel Security is investigating your charges against Saren. We will discuss the CSEC findings at the hearing, not before. Oh yeah, the captain said they would kind of defend Captain Anderson, him, I, I see you brought half your crew with you. Just the ground team from Eden Prime, in case you had any questions. I have the mission reports. I assume they're accurate? They are. Sounds like you convinced the Council to give us an audience. They were not happy about it. Seren's their top agent. They don't like him being accused of treason. Saren's a threat to every human colony out there. He needs to be stopped. The Council has to listen to us. Settle down, Commander. You've already done more than enough to jeopardize your candidacy for the Spectres. The mission on Eden Prime was a chance to prove you could get the job done. Instead, Nihilus ended up dead and the beacon was destroyed. That's Saren's fault, not hers. Then Thank we you, better Captain. hope the CSEC investigation turns up evidence to support our accusations. Otherwise, the Council might use this as an excuse to keep you out of the Spectres. Come with me, Captain. I want to go over a few things before the hearing. Shepard, you and the others can meet us at the Citadel Tower, top level. I'll make sure you have clearance to get in. All right. And that's why I hate politicians. <laughs> Okie dokes. Important missions are marked on your map. Open the mission's computer to access it. Uh, map. CSEC Academy. Okay, so plot is the uh, exclamation points. Store, vehicle, destination, squad member, transition, anomaly, anomal anomaly, debris, survey, point of interest, mineral. Okay. Um, do I have side quests? Are there side quests in this game? Because uh, after playing The Witcher, I want to just jump right into side quests and like get them done, you know, knock them out. But I don't. Doesn't look. What is this? It doesn't look like I have side quests. Follow the pulsing arrow, arrow on your radar to the Citadel Tower. Okay. If there are side missions, um, it's probably just not unlocked yet. They usually like you know go through tutorials and stuff. energy readings during a patrol on the Argos Row Cluster. Alright. More info added to the journal, I guess. Alright, come on, team. Let's have a look around everywhere. Ooh! Big boys! But these allegations are very serious. I can This is serious. My reputation is at stake. I spoke with the consul of the Congress. All right. I will look into it for you. I don't want to interrupt, in but. Hi. Earth Clan, you are in the wrong place, I think. Your ambassador is next door in the large office. 
Chastising remark. Don't be so rude, Din. <laughs> At least introduce yourself. <sighs> I am Din Korlak, Volus Ambassador. Is there something I can do for you, Earth Clan? What is this place? You are in the embassy for the Volus and the Elgor. Your ambassador is next door, in his own office. In his own office. In this like shared space, I aid my fellow Volus when I'm not being interrupted. Uh, let's interrupt them some more. Why so cranky? You seem to have a bit of a chip on your shoulder, Din. You humans are new to the Citadel, and yet the Council has granted you great favor. <sighs> Chastising rebuke, Din. Your species has always been granted many concessions. Volus territory has expanded tenfold since coming to the Citadel. <laughs> Details. We still have no real say in the decisions that affect Citadel space. I'd like to know more about the Volus. I'm sure our history and culture would bore you, Earth Clan. Tell me about Volus culture. We are tribal by nature, but our ways are not violent. We barter and trade our lands and tribe members in order to increase status. Larger tribes often engulf smaller ones and eventually split again. Our society is very malleable, and our government is always shifting and changing. Since we're not physically adept, we trade our services for protection. Actually, I would like to know more about your history. My people came to the Citadel shortly after the Asari and Salarians had discovered it. We were instrumental in establishing a standardized galactic economy. However, despite our long association with the Citadel and our many contributions to galactic society, we still do not hold a seat on the Council. What is it you do here? I look out for the best interests of the Volus people. No easy task considering how often we are overlooked by the Council. Chastising rebuke, Din. The Council favors your species greatly. You are naive. The Earth Clan will be invited to the Council long before our species will. Why aren't the Elcor or Volus part of the Council? All species must prove themselves before they join the Council. All but the Earth Clans, it would seem. He's salty for sure. I mean, understandable. Dismissive. Ignore the Volus Ambassador, human. <laughs> he is incorrect in his assessment. Really? How long have we been waiting? How long do you think we'll continue to wait? Bah! This talk is wasted on the humans. All right, well, I should go. Goodbye, Ambassador. Yes, yes. Good day, Earth Clan. So, is Volus is a species? He's a Volus, right? What are these guys? Are these are they? They're not Voluses, too, right? Interesting. <laughs> nice chatting with you guys. The other room they said. I think I'm here. Should I talk to Ashley? I can't tell the aliens from the animals. <laughs> Big place. For real. Welcome to the Presidium. Allow me to be your guide. Greetings and welcome to the Presidium. My name is Avina, and I am pleased to be your virtual guide throughout this level of the Citadel Space Station. So are you a person or a program? I am a fully interactive virtual intelligence, programmed to provide spontaneous guidance at predetermined locations of interest throughout this level of the Citadel. I may also be contacted through any of the Presidium VI terminals, should you require assistance. Give me the tour. You are standing at Presidium Tourism Terminal 1. On either side of this lobby are the embassies of the various Citadel races, along with CSEC headquarters. On the far end of this level, you can see the Citadel Tower, where the Council meets regularly to discuss matters of interstellar importance. 
I want to know more about Citadel Security. Citadel Security serves as law enforcement for all regions of the Citadel, though the majority of officers serve in the wards. Executor Palin, a Turian, is the current head of CSEC, but individuals from virtually every species across Citadel space serve as officers beneath him. If you wish to learn more, Executor Palin's office is located in the CSEC headquarters just across the lobby. Tell me about the embassies. Each species in Citadel space important enough to be consulted on matters of galactic politics maintains an embassy on the Presidium. The Volus were the first non-council species to be granted an embassy, roughly 2,384 galactic standard years ago. As Citadel space has expanded, more embassies have been added. The most recently added embassy belongs to your own species, humanity. It was added 19 galactic standard years ago, despite some rather vocal opposition. How come the Volus were the first species given an embassy? In the early years following the formation of the Council, the Volus were, apart from the Asari and Salarians, the most populous and widespread species in Citadel space. They established many new colonies and trading outposts, and they petitioned the Council for a greater role in determining interstellar policy. In recognition of their work to expand interstellar trade and establish a standardized galactic economy, the Volus were granted an embassy here on the Citadel. Just an Why weren't they made a council race? The council races have extensive responsibilities. They must provide personnel and ships for the Citadel fleets. They often provide economic aid in times of disaster. It would be unfair to demand such an enormous burden of a species unable to meet these obligations. The embassies allow lesser species to have a voice on the Citadel. Lesser? That's pretty damn arrogant. Mm -hmm. I apologize if my personality has offended you. <laughs> Please submit all formal complaints in writing to the Citadel Tourist and Visitor Board. Why were people trying to keep my species out? Some species felt humanity was given preferential treatment. It often takes a century or more before a new species is granted an embassy. The Council gave a great deal of thought to this matter. In the end, they decided humanity's impact on Citadel space was significant enough to warrant an embassy. Do you agree with their decision? I am not programmed to make that kind of qualified judgment. My code is limited to information and simple interaction simulations. Did I, I asked, I just, were we talking about embassies, right? Do you know anything about specters? The term specter is derived from the branch of special tactics and reconnaissance. Each Spectre agent is hand-picked by the Council. Their primary role is preserving galactic stability and resolving volatile situations that cannot be handled through normal political channels. In this role, they are granted extraterritorial rights and jurisdictions. Spectres answer to no law or authority except the Council itself. Man, I feel like I'm on a field trip right now. I'm learning a lot right now. <laughs> what can you tell me about the Citadel Council? Originally, the Council consisted of representatives from the Asari and Salarians, the two dominant species in Citadel space. Roughly 1,304 galactic standard years ago, Turians were invited to join the Council in recognition of the role they played during the Krogan Rebellion. Since then, the three Council races have worked together to ensure the peaceful coexistence of the galactic community while preserving individual autonomy for each species. It can't be as simple as that. There must be problems somewhere in the system. I am not programmed to make that kind of qualified judgment. My code well, is limited to information girl. and simple interaction simulations. Goodbye. Goodbye, and thank you for using Avena. Please enjoy your visit to the Citadel. Use Citadel Rapid Transit to travel quickly between major locations. As you explore the Citadel, more locations will unlock. All right, uh, let's hop in. Saren's hiding something. Give me more time. Stall them. Stall the council. Don't be ridiculous. Your investigation is over, Garrus. What just happened? Commander Shepard, Garrus Vicarian. I was the officer in charge of the CSEC investigation into Saren. Uh, who was that? Who were you just talking to? 
That was Executor Palin, head of Citadel Security, my boss. He'll be presenting my findings on Saren to the council. Okay, what did you find? You blew it. You don't like, you don't like Saren. Sounds like you really want to bring him down. I don't trust him. Something about him rubs me the wrong way. But he's a specter. Everything he touches is classified. I can't find any hard evidence. I think the council's ready for us, Commander. Good luck, Shepard. Maybe they'll listen so to you. So he couldn't find any hard evidence. That's what he said? Oof. <laughs> Great. Grand. Amazing. Amazing. They're not gonna believe me, dude. Dude, aren't you fancy? Don't be ridiculous. The Volus won't be joining the council for years. I'm not so sure. Everyone's talking about the Volus. <laughs> already started come on oh, I'm nervous dude I'm nervous Look at my butt damn <laughs> the geth attack is a matter of some concern that there is nothing to indicate Saren was involved in any way the investigation by Citadel security turned up no evidence to support your charge of treason an eyewitness saw him kill Nihilus in cold blood we've read the Eden Prime reports ambassador the testimony of one traumatized dock worker is hardly compelling proof. I resent these accusations. Nihilus was a fellow specter and a friend. Yeah, yeah. That just let you catch him off guard. Captain Anderson, you always seem to be involved when humanity makes false charges against me. And this must be your protege, Commander Shepard. The one who let the beacon get destroyed. Uh, how did you get involved? That was you, not me. I'm not gonna raise my voice. The mission to Eden Prime was top secret. The only way you could know about the beacon was if you were there. With Nihilus gone, his files passed on to me. I read the Eden Prime report. I was unimpressed. But what can you expect from a human? Um, insults typical. See, he hates us. You'll pay for what you've done. Nah, insults typical. Saren despises humanity. That's why he attacked Eden Prime. Your species needs to learn its place, Shepard. You're not ready to join the Council. You're not even ready to join the Spectres. He has no right to say that. That's not his decision. Shepard's admission into the Spectres is not the purpose of this meeting. This meeting has no purpose. The humans are wasting your time, uh... Counselor, and mine. I'll find proof, you arrogant bastard. Quit protecting him. <sighs> One of these. I don't want to just rate the fuck it. Saren's hiding behind his position as a specter. You need to open your eyes. What we need is evidence. So far, we've seen nothing. There is still one outstanding issue. Commander Shepard's vision. It may have been triggered by the beacon. Are we allowing dreams into evidence now? How can I defend my innocence against this kind of testimony? I agree. Our judgment must be based on facts and evidence, not wild imaginings and reckless speculation. Do you have anything else to add, Commander Shepard? You won't see the truth, no. What's the point? You won't see the truth. You've made your decision. I won't waste my breath. I knew, it. I knew they weren't going to believe us. The Council has found no evidence of any connection between Saren and the Geth. Ambassador, your petition to have him disbarred from the Spectres is denied. I'm glad to see justice was served. They're going to learn the hard way. This meeting is adjourned. Mistake bringing you into that hearing, Captain. You and Saren have too much history. It made the Council question our motives. I know Saren. He's working with the Geth for one reason. To exterminate the entire human race. Every colony we have is at risk. Every world we control is in danger. Even Earth isn't safe. How do you know him? Tell me about this history between you and Saren. I worked with him on a mission a long time ago. Things went bad. Real bad. We shouldn't talk about this here. But I know what he's like, and he has to be stopped. Now what? What's our next step? 
As a Spectre, he's virtually untouchable. We need to find some way to expose him. What about Garrus, that CSEC investigator? We saw him arguing with the Executor. That's right. He was asking for more time to finish his report. Seems like he was close to finding something on Saren. I'll talk to him. Any idea where we could find him? I have a contact in CSEC who can help us track Garrus down. His name is Harkin. Forget it. They suspended Harkin last month, drinking on the job. I won't waste my time with that loser. You won't have to. I don't want the Council using your past history with Saren as an excuse to ignore anything we turn up. Shepard will handle this. You can't just cut Captain Anderson out of this investigation. The Ambassador's right. I need to step aside. I need to take care of some business. Captain, meet me in my office later. All right, let's go talk to this guy. Harkin's probably getting drunk at Cora's Den. It's a dingy little club in the lower section of the wards. Maybe there's another way to find evidence against Saren. You should talk to Barla Vaughn over in the financial district. Rumor has it he's an agent for the Shadow Broker. The Shadow Broker? An information dealer. Buys and sells secrets to the highest bidder. I've heard Barla Vaughn's one of the top representatives. He might know something about Saren, but his information won't come cheap. You and Saren have a history. What happened? About 20 years ago, I was part of a mission in the Skillian Verge. I was working with Saren to find and remove a known terrorist threat. Saren eliminated his target, but a lot of people died along the way, innocent people. And the official records just covered it all up. But I saw how he operates. No conscience, no hesitation. He'd kill a thousand innocent civilians to end a war without a second thought. So would I? No way, he's a monster. Killing innocents doesn't end wars, it causes them. I know how the world works, Commander. Sometimes you're forced to make unpleasant decisions. But only if there's no other way. Saren doesn't even look for another option. He's twisted, broken. He likes the violence, the killing. And he knows how to cover his tracks. You don't think much of Harkin. The guy joined CSEC about 20 years ago. He's been an embarrassment to our species ever since. Roughing up suspects in custody, bribery accusations, alcohol and drug use. The embassy used to step in when he got in trouble. But I guess enough was enough. Guy's a scumbag. He should have been cut loose a long time ago. He was one of the first human CSEC officers. Guess it would have looked bad if he got fired. A lot of backroom deals were worked out over the years to keep him on the force. Politics is a dirty business sometimes, but it looks like his time's run out. We've got enough humans in CSEC now to stop protecting him. Our ambassador doesn't seem to get along with the Council. He's just frustrated. The Council's always preaching that we need to be part of the galactic community. But for them, it's a one-way street. They want us to expand and settle unstable regions like the Skillian Verge and the Attican Traverse. But when we run into trouble, they don't want to help us out. Everyone knows it's only a matter of time until we get a seat on the Council. The Ambassador just thinks it should happen sooner rather than later. And I agree. Maybe they'd let us join the Council if we were more willing to cooperate with the other species. Of course they would. If we did everything they told us to, they'd love to have us on the Council. But it wouldn't be much of a deal for us. I understand their side. They don't want us dominating the Council. It's founded on cooperation and alliances. But we have to look out for our own interests, too. Tell me more about the Shadow Broker. He's a necessary evil of galactic politics. Buying and selling information is a part of the game. And the Shadow Broker just happens to be the best player on the field. Always sells to the highest bidder. Doesn't get involved in politics. Doesn't pick sides. A simple system, but it works. He's not a threat to anyone, not directly. He's just a resource we can use, or she is. Or maybe they are. Nobody really knows. All right. Tell me about Barla Vaughn. He specializes in moving large sums of money without leaving a paper trail. A financial genius. Doesn't do anything illegal. But he knows all the loopholes. He's got an impressive client list. Ambassadors, diplomats, specters. That's probably why the Shadow Broker uses him. I should go. Good luck, Shepard. I'll be over in the Ambassador's office if you need anything else. All right. 
So I think there's a couple people we can talk to, right? Oh, should I talk to my team? This is it. The very heart of the Citadel. The pinnacle of Galactic. Welcome to Moreland's famous shop. You want many good supplies, yes? Let me see what you have. Ooh, oh, first you will shop. be pleased, I think. Very good things I have. You will see. Uh, view non-human armors, you standard items. Interesting. I'm not gonna probably buy anything. Just curious. They have heavy armor. Ooh. Oh wait, no, this is sell. I can sell. Oh, I don't need all these snipers. Okay, let's see got. Uh, damage per second, 82, 4.2, these are all the same. Let's sell all these. There we go. Alright. They have assault rifles, view comparison. Okay, so we do 120. Wow, okay, all this would be a lot better <laughs> than what I have now. How much money do I have? Where's my money? Oh, I have 1600? Yeah, okay, that would take all my money. A lot of this would. Hmm. I guess we'll just save our money for now. Wait a little bit and buying equipment. Um. That's her. Oh shit! People want to kill me. How do I use my abilities here? Sabotage. They're, these are assassins. Overload. Sabotage. What do they have? Sabotage. Just learn all these moves and all these abilities. Those were Saren's men. Of course. All clear. Of course they were. Caden. Mm. Oh, I can legit sit down in front of these ladies. Let's have a chat. Sorry, I'll get to you when I can. Okay. Uh, hello. I got business here, but not with you. Go away. Ah, uh, Harkin. Here we go. Oh. Back off, Rex. Fist told us to take you down if you showed up. What are you waiting for? I'm standing right here. Oh, shit. This is Fist's only chance. If he's smart, he'll take it. He's not coming out, Rex. End of story. This story is just beginning. Oh, my eyes watering. Out of my way, humans. I have no quarrel with you. What was that all about? Who knows? Let's just try not to get caught in the middle. <laughs> all right. It seemed pretty important. In fact, I just had a cinematic. <laughs> Uh, where was that guy we just saw? Hey there, sweetheart. You looking for some fun? Cause I gotta say, that soldier get-up looks real good on that body of yours. Oh, I wanna kid- I- I wanna shoot him. <laughs> Why don't you sit your sweet little ass down beside old Harkin? Have a drink. See where this goes. You're disgusting. Not right now, bitch. Maybe later. Suit yourself, princess. You know, if more Marines looked like you, I might have joined the Alliance instead of CSEC. Uh, I don't want to be rude. I do, but I don't. <laughs> Maybe you can help me. Harkin, right? I was told you could help me find someone. 
A Turian CSEC officer named Garrus. Just need info, bro. Garrus? <laughs> you must be one of Captain Anderson's crew. Poor bastard still trying to bring Saren down, eh? I know where Garrus is, but you gotta tell me something first. Did the captain let you in on his big secret? What secret? Not my concern. What secret? Is there something I should know about the captain? The captain used to be a specter. Didn't know that, did you? It was all very hush. Well, if he was working the with the first uh, human ever given that honor, and then guy. he blew it. Screwed up his mission so bad they kicked him out. Of course, he blames Saren. Says the Turian set him up. Hmm. I don't know if we should trust this guy. How do you know this? You said they covered all this up. How'd you hear about it? I spent 20 years working cases here on the Citadel. People on this station love to talk. Secrets are like herpes. If you got them, you might as well spread them around. <laughs> what the fuck? Uh, uh, what went wrong? That's not why I'm here. Quit wasting my time. I'm gonna pry just to make sure, you know. Why'd uh... they kick him out? Have to ask him. I never heard any of the details. Bet it's a good story, though. The Heroes Fall. Classic tragedy. <laughs> Just tell me where Garrus went. Garrus was sniffing around Dr. Michelle's office. She runs the med clinic on the other side of the wards. Last I heard, he was going back there. What do you know about Garrus? Damn hothead is what he is. Still figures he can save the world. Always bucking heads with the Executor. He'll pay for it soon enough. The Executor loves to put us lowly field agents in our place. Just look what happened to me. More than that. What's it like working for CSEC? You mean, what was it like? The Executor suspended me without pay. Recurring violations. CSEC was keeping a file on me. Can you believe that? Every mistake I ever made went into the books. Get a little rough with a suspect, note in the file. Have a couple of drinks on duty, note in the file. Skim a couple of credits off a drug bust, note in the file. It's a goddamn witch hunt. I'm not gonna get sassy with him. I don't know this guy, and I'm just trying to get info out of him, so... I'm out of here. Yeah, good. Ooh, leveled up. Oh, oh, don't pull my gun out. Don't. I keep wanting to push the touchpad. All right, let's see what we can level. How, how do I level this up? Oh, I need seven points. Okay, well, let's get my intimidate up. Or should, renegade, okay, so renegade and paragon, that's what it was. So paragon is like positive, kind of friendly approach. Renegade's more of a, I guess, mean, angry, obviously intimidating. Um, I, I, I'll keep with with Paragon for now. I have to pick one, don't I? I'm not sure. You guys help me out on that. <laughs> uh, let's up our first... Wait, if I have to... First aid, five points. Oh, okay, so I have to level up this stuff first. Okay, so let's get my pistol up. Wait, how do I get... Yeah, pistol up. Six points. There we go. I have two more. Let's do first aid. Medicine unlocked. There we go. That's how you do it. Okay, so I unlocked medicine. Okie dokie. That's, that should be good. The back rooms are private. Reserved for Fist and his friends. Who's Fist? He owns this club, but the customers have to stay out front. What did that other Krogan want? Rex. Personal matter. Not real chatty, is he? <laughs> Goodbye. I like his little fingers. Enjoy the club. They're cute. Okay, so we have to go. Oh, 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 oh. I keep pulling out my damn gun, dude. Uh, let's check the map. Where do we have to head? Why didn't Captain Anderson tell us he used to be a specter? Maybe it's not true. Hawkins an ass. But he's just messing with our heads. Who knows? You're probably right. Still. Who knows? I don't, I mean. Everybody's got a shady past, you know, that they don't like talking about. Right? <laughs> I don't 
understand why he wouldn't want to talk about it if it is true. But it is a little weird he didn't tell us, I guess. Commander Shepard? Excuse me, Commander Shepard! Oh, what's up, miss? I'm Emily Wong. I'm an investigative journalist working here on the Citadel. Could I have a moment of your time? Sure. What do you need? I've been hunting for evidence of corruption and organized crime on the Citadel, but there are places I can't go. I was hoping you might share anything you find during your own investigation. I can make it worth your time. Do I want to do that? How oh, investigations are... Why me? You gotta have access to better sources. Why contact me? I'm using every source I can find, but I think I've got a better shot with you. According to your file, you survived back on Akuz when everyone else in your squad got killed. If anyone can find the worst elements of the Citadel and live to tell about it, it's you. How do you know I'm investigating anything here on the Citadel? I'm a good journalist, Commander Shepard. Word gets around. You're a good journalist, but you're not a good enough journalist to get other types of information. And for some reason you need me. How do you know that my investigation is going to uncover anything you need? You wouldn't be investigating if it weren't big. And if it's big, it's something I'd like to hear about. I think I want to go, we'll see about this. I don't know, we'll see. No promises, but if I find anything relating to your case, I'll inform you. Thank you, Commander. You won't regret it. I don't want to just be a bitch, turn her down, but like, I don't know this lady and she's a journalist. Can't really trust, trust journalists, right? You're Commander Shepard, the hero of Eden Prime. I am so honored to meet you. Nice to meet you. And you are? My name is Conrad. Conrad Werner. They say you killed more than a hundred Geth on Eden Prime. <laughs> really? Leave me alone? I just tried to help. I spent most of my time trying to stay alive and help the colonists. Hey, I know you're probably busy, but um, do you have time for a quick autograph? No probs. Anything for a fan. Here. I didn't realize I had fans. <laughs> Thanks. I really appreciate it. My wife is going to be so impressed. I'll let you get back to work. Oh, but next time you're on Earth, I'd love to buy you a drink. Thanks again. <laughs> weird. I don't know uh, where I'm going. The map's a little weird. Like, it doesn't show the whole map. So I kind of have to just, like, go to different sections and figure it out. Hey, I know you. You're Shepard, right? I saw the monument at Akuz. They got a whole section about you there. It's a miracle you survived. Looks like you have a fan. <laughs> I'm sorry, I just never thought I'd meet someone like you in person. Uh, my name's Lang, Officer Eddie Lang, Citadel Security. It's an honor to meet you, Commander. What are you doing down here in the wards? Anything I can help you with? Why'd you join Citadel Security? I don't know, seemed like the right thing to do, you know? Maybe it's in my blood. My grandfather was a cop back on Earth. It's kind of what CSEC is, police for the Citadel. I'm still pretty new at it, but I like it so far. Way more interesting than staying back on Earth. You get to meet all kinds of cool aliens, like those Hanar. Wild. Plus, CSEC gets a lot of respect here. We uphold the law. People, even aliens, appreciate that. How do you like working here on the Citadel? This place is amazing. I've been here almost a year, and I still haven't seen a tenth of it. The Presidium's just so beautiful. Good place to go and relax. But I really like it here down in the wards. There's always something going on somewhere. Like that new club they just opened a few months ago, Flux. Wicked scene in there, Commander. You should check it out when you have some time. What do you know about Spectres? Just the stuff they show in the vids. They always make them out to be super agents on secret missions to save the galaxy. I know it's not really like that, though. Some of the other CSEC guys don't like them too much. Figure they shouldn't be able to operate outside the law. But if they were so bad, the Council wouldn't use them, right? <laughs> yeah. Do you know a CSEC officer named Harkin? I shouldn't really say too much. He's been on the Force a lot longer than me. But I've heard things, you know? Drinking on the job, taking bribes, that kind of thing. Rumors mostly, but they suspended him, so some of it must be true. Hmm. I have know. to go. Right. You're probably real busy. Well, see you around, Commander. Alrighty. Ah, human. This one is greatly pleased to see you here in my decadent emporium. 
Who are you? This one's face name is Dela Ninder, though many in this place simply refer to it as Dela. All right. Please take time to examine the fine goods it has for purchase, all of great worth. What exactly do you sell? Only the finest and most luxurious items that credits can buy. This one is able to procure almost any item the human would desire, for a price, naturally. Let's see what you got. I'd like to see these rare and wonderful items. Oh, this one is pleased to do so, human. You will not be disappointed. Uh, upgrades. Uh, hammerhead rounds. Radioactive rounds, shock absorbers. Um, what is this for? Hammerhead? Is that a pistol? A shotgun? It's like a sniper type of ammo. I'm not sure. These sound cool. I'll buy these. What's this? One of the Earth Clan. Ah, uh, a very famous one, yes? You are the one called Shepard. The tale of how you survived the great tragedy on Akuz is truly remarkable. I am amazed each time I hear it. You've got me at a disadvantage here. Forgive me, Earth Clan. My name is Barla Vaughn. My job makes it necessary for me to keep informed. I am a financial advisor to many important clients here on the Citadel. When someone as important as yourself arrives on the station, I take notice. I heard you work for the Shadow Broker. Do you have any information about Saren? You're very blunt, Shepard. But you're right. I am an agent for the Shadow Broker. And I do know something about Saren. Can we make a deal? What's the cost? Start talking. Can we make a deal? What's the cost? I hear your information can be expensive. Normally, this information would cost a small fortune. But these are exceptional circumstances. Ooh. So I am going to give it to you for free. I'll take it. What's the catch? There is no catch. The Shadow Broker is quite upset with Saren right now. Oh. They used to do a lot of business until Saren turned on him. He's not the only one. Saren's turned on a lot of people lately. I don't know the details, but the Shadow Broker hired a freelancer to deal with it. A Krogan mercenary. I think I know him. His name's Rex. Yes, I believe oh. he's the one. I heard he was paying a visit to Citadel Security. If you hurry, you might catch him before he leaves the CSEC Academy. Isn't it strange that a Krogan would want to speak with CSEC? Very. However, I doubt the visit was entirely his choice. You'll need to speak with him if you want to know more. Tell me more about the Shadow Broker. Most people think I deal in finances, but my real currency is knowledge. I trade information, and it has made me very wealthy. But the Shadow Broker is the true master. Every day he buys and sells secrets that could topple governments, always giving them to the highest bidder. Yet somehow he never seems to upset the natural balance of power. All those secrets being passed around seem to even out. Nobody ends up with an advantage in the end. Any guess what his identity might be? I don't know. Nobody does. The Shadow Broker could be any race, any gender. I have a theory that it's actually an entire group working under one identity. How else could they juggle so many contacts at the same time? How else could they keep all that information from getting crossed? But they've got the perfect setup. Every government is forced to play their game so they don't get behind. But no matter how long you play, no matter how many secrets you buy, you can never win. I thought you'd know more about the man you work for. From time to time, I come across information I sell to the Shadow Broker. That's my only involvement. I like it that way. The more you know, the more dangerous the game becomes. I don't like danger, Commander. I'll leave that to you. 
Tell license. me more about your job. Galactic finance is incredibly complex. A mix of laws and regulations from dozens of interstellar economies. I'm an expert in how all these economies interact. For a fee, I share my expertise. I also offer premium services for those clients who need someone to conduct business without drawing unwanted attention. Discreet and efficient. That's my motto. Sounds pretty shady. Everything I do falls completely within the bounds of interstellar commerce law. Even so, many of my clients would prefer their transactions remain undisclosed. For example, suppose a Hanar ambassador was petitioning the council to reduce tariffs on Hanar goods. How would it look if he had money invested in a Hanar exporting company? Even if his true motives were to help his people, he would be accused of advancing the petition for his own personal gain. I can keep his personal finances private. What's it like living here on the Citadel? The station is without a doubt the greatest wonder in the galaxy. It is a technological marvel, but its true splendor goes much deeper than the hull and engines. From the Presidium to the wards, the entire station is a testament to the success of the Council. All the species of Citadel space together in a single strong community. What makes the Presidium so special? It is the political center of Citadel space. 80% of all intelligent species in the known galaxy acknowledge the Council's authority on interstellar matters. But only the most powerful and influential species have embassies here on the Presidium. This level of the station is reserved for the elite, Shepard. People like us. Interesting. What are the wards like? The cultural heart of the galaxy. They pulse with the lifeblood of millions of citizens from dozens of different species. You never know what you'll find down in the wards, Commander. It's always full of surprises. Fortunately, most of them are pleasant. All right. I should go. Go catch up with Vex. Goodbye, Commander. All right. So he's uh, the CSEC Academy. All right. I think it was this way. This must have been... Oh, 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 oh. Chill, 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 chill. Unless it was a uh, shortcut. Citadel Tower, CSEC. HQ. Uh, I believe we should use a fast travel. How you holding up, Lieutenant? Not too bad. No headaches worth mentioning lately. Maybe I'm getting used to the strain. Hmm, maybe you've just got a good stress release. I know that knocking the geth on their synthetic asses gets rid of my headaches. <laughs> ah. Ah, there he is. I was like... I kept seeing his name pop up. Rex! Witnesses saw you making threats in Fist's bar. Stay away from him. I don't take orders from you. This oh. is your only warning, Rex. You should warn Fist. I will kill him. I like his voice. You want me to arrest you? I want you to try. <laughs> He's cute. I like him. Can we romance him? <laughs> Go on. Get out of here. Yes, human. You can help me. I'm trying to bring down Saren. Barla Vaughn said to talk to you. Barlevon is a wise man. We may share a common goal, human. Enlighten me. I've been hired to kill the owner of Korra's den, a man named Fist. He did something very foolish. Let me guess. Tell me. What'd he do? He betrayed the Shadow Broker. A Quarian showed up here on the Citadel. He was on the run. She wanted to trade information for a safe place to hide, so she went to Fist. He promised to arrange a meeting between her and the Shadow Broker. Instead, he contacted Saren. Big mistake. Fist's not too smart. He's just greedy. Saren paid him a small fortune for the Quarian. He had to. She has evidence connecting him to the Geth. Ooh. If we get our hands on that evidence, we can prove that Saren's a traitor. And the Council will have to listen to us. I have to find her. We might be too late. We're not going to put that negative energy Where's out the there. now? Last I heard, Fist still had her. Probably somewhere inside his club. 
You help me kill Fist, she's all yours. What about the Shadow Broker? I want to know more about your employer. Can't tell you much. All I got was a coded message with the details of the job. Standard procedure. What about Garrus, that Turian? He wants to take Saren down too. We could use him. He might come in handy. He was here just before you showed up. Said he was going to follow up a lead on his investigation. Wanted to speak to the doctor at the med clinic. Ah, move out. Oh, this is my squad. I have to pick people. Um, add the squad. And oh, I like both of these guys though. Can I add both of them? No. Okay, well then these two should be good. Except squad. Yeah, look at us. Fuck yeah. All right, to the the med med clinic. Okay, which way is that? You're creating a public disturbance. It's against Citadel regulations. This one is unsure why the other would not wish word of the Enkindlers to be spread. That Hanar refuses to listen to reason. Why can't it act in an orderly and lawful manner? He should be more tolerant. It's just trying to express its beliefs. I am not unreasonable. The Hanar is free to spew its nonsense once it purchases an evangelical permit. If you'd like, I could talk to the Hanar for you. I have argued with the stubborn jelly all afternoon. You are certainly welcome to try. Do you desire to learn of the Enkindlers? Or has the Honorable CSEC officer enlisted assistance? Uh, you're breaking the law. This isn't the way. This is the way. What? Uh, I'm having trouble. Why is the CSEC officer harassing you? The CSEC officer requests that this one purchase an evangelical permit to spread the truth of the Enkindlers. If that's all the CSEC officer wants, why not just buy the permit? The truth of the Enkindlers is universal. This one humbly believes that the truth should not be suppressed. Exacting payment as a means of imposing limits upon the truth is an abrogation of this one's religious freedom. Ah. Let me talk to the CSEC officer. Perhaps I can explain the situation. This one would be most grateful for the assistance. Oh my god. <laughs> Any progress with that Hanar? Uh, 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 I'll keep trying. Not yet. Let the Hanar talk. Let the Hanar leave the Hanar. I'll keep trying. Hold on. Sorry. I'll let you know if I come up with something. I don't care what the something is, as long as it rids me of the Hanar. Okay, wait. Let's talk to him more. Has the CSEC officer been assuaged? Is this really how you want to represent the Enkindlers? The truth of the Enkindlers must be made known. They gave the Hanar language and gave the universe the mass relays. This one only wishes to spread the truth to any who will listen. There is no intent to cause trouble. Can I buy you a permit? Ah, oh, it's grayed out. Oh, I hate that. What if I purchase the evangelical permit for you? Finances are only a partial limitation. This one does not believe that one should pay in order to speak the truth. However, this one also does not possess the 150 credits necessary to purchase the permit. You do now. 150 credits. This should cover you. This is a most appreciated action. You are not of the Hanar, but you wish to help spread the truth of the Enkindlers. This one will not cause any further trouble for the CSEC officer. This one offers its thanks. Cool. I see the Hanar is left. Thank you. Happy to help. Here, for your assistance in this matter. Is it 150? Now, if you'll excuse me, 150 I should credits? report to my superiors. Can I give my money back? What do you give me? XP? <laughs> All right, uh, I forget. I don't know which way I'm going. It doesn't tell me. I think I think let's try going down to the ward or is it the financial district? The wards. Let's try the ward. We haven't gone down this way. 
I'm surprised you're willing to fight Krogan, Rex. I thought you'd stand with your own. Anyone who fights us is either stupid or on Saren's payroll. Killing the latter is business. Killing the former is a favor to the universe. <laughs> I like him. I didn't tell anyone, I swear. That was smart, Doc. Now if Garrus comes around, you stay smart. Keep your mouth shut or we'll... Oh. Who are you? Let her go. Ah! Shepard gave me a clear shot at that bastard. No problem. It was a big risk. No Glad problem. I could help. Dr. Michelle, are you hurt? No, I'm okay. Thanks to you. All of you. Who are those men? Why were they threatening you? Who do they work for? They work for Feast. They wanted to shut me up. Keep me from telling Garrus about the Quarian. The one I told you about, Shepard. She must be able to link Saren to the Geth. There is no way the Council can ignore this. We need to find her. Time we paid Fist a visit. This is your show, Shepard. But I want to bring Saren down as much as you do. I'm coming with you. Why do you hate him? You're a Turian. Why do you want to bring him down? I couldn't find the proof I needed in my investigation, but I knew what was really going on. Saren is a traitor to the Council and a disgrace to my people. Uh, okay. Welcome aboard, Garrus. Fist is going to be waiting for us. When we hit him, we better hit him hard. So many new people. Okay, I I think we keep Braxton for for now. And um, let's add Garrus. Why not? Yeah, we got a squad now. You see that? See that, Miss? That's how you do it. All right. So now we go talk to Fist, right? Right there, don't come any close. Warehouse workers. All the real guards must be dead. 
Stay back or we'll shoot. Save yourselves? Is this, it's them or us. They work for Fist. Nobody threatens me. Save yourself? This would be a good time to find somewhere else to work. Yeah, yeah, right. That's a good idea. <laughs> yeah, I never liked Fist anyway. <laughs> Quicker to just kill them. Shooting people isn't always the answer. Oh, they're so cute. They're like my little pets. I know they're not. That's that's. A, I shouldn't say that. Me, I surrender. I need a smart move. Where's the quarian? She's not here. I don't know where she is. That's the truth. He's no use to you now. Let me kill him. Wait, wait. I don't Rex. know where the quarian is, but I know where you can find her. The quarian isn't here. Said you'd only deal with the shadow broker himself. Face to face? Impossible. Even I was hired through an agent. Nobody meets the Shadow Broker, ever. Even I don't know his true identity. But she didn't know that. I told her I'd set a meeting up. But when she shows up, it'll be Saren's men waiting for her. We have to save her, where's the meeting? Give me the location, now. Ooh, about to kiss. Here on the wards, the back alley by the markets. She's supposed to meet them right now. You can make it if you hurry. The Shadow Broker paid me to kill him. I don't leave jobs half done. <sighs> Never do that again. I am in charge here. You ever pull another stunt like that? It was the only contract I had left. And don't we have something more pressing to worry about? That Quarian's dead if we don't go now. All right. This is the Quarian I want her before it's too late. Oh God, we got freaking four minutes. Oh God, I'm, I better not get lost. All right, out the way we came, out the way we came. Open, open. Take cover. Of course, there's people. She's at. Trying to follow the open doors, I guess. Yeah, I wasn't. He said an alleyway, right? Oh, here we go. Here we go. Oh, scared me. Did you bring it? Where's the shadow broker? Where's Fist? Ah, she They'll wants to be stuff. here. Where's the evidence? No way. The deal's off. Me. 
Jetzt wurde ich gar nicht... Ja. Oh, shit. Mega. Just set me up. I knew I couldn't trust him. Were you hurt in the fight? I know how to look after myself. Not that I don't appreciate the help. Who are you? Uh, a friend. My name's Shepard. I'm looking for evidence to prove Saren's a traitor. Then I have a chance to repay you for saving my life. But not here. We need to go somewhere safe. We could take her to the human embassy. Your ambassador will want to see this anyway. Alright. Woo, good shit. You're not making my life easy, Shepard. Firefights in the wards, an all-out assault on Korra's den. Do you know how many... Who's this? A quarian? What are you up to, Shepard? Just doing my job. You wanted proof Saren's a traitor. This is it. Ugh. Really? Maybe you better start at the beginning, miss... My name is Tali. Tali Zora Naraya. We don't see many quarians here. Why did you leave the flotilla? I was on my pilgrimage. My rite of passage into adulthood. I've never heard of this before. It is a tradition among my people. When we reach maturity, we leave the ships of our parents and our people behind. Alone, we search the stars, only returning to the flotilla once we have discovered something of value. In this way, we prove ourselves worthy of adulthood. What kinds of things do you look for? It could be resources like food or fuel, or some type of useful technology, or even knowledge that will make life easier on the flotilla. Through our pilgrimage, we prove that we will contribute to the community, rather than being a burden on our limited resources. Tell us what you found. During my travels, I began hearing reports of Geth. Since they drove my people into exile, the Geth have never ventured beyond the Vale. I was curious. I tracked a patrol of Geth to an uncharted world. I waited for one to become separated from its unit. Then I disabled it and removed its memory core. I thought the Geth fried their memory cores when they died. Some kind of defense mechanism. How did you manage to preserve the memory core? My people created the Geth. If you're quick, careful, and lucky, small caches of data can sometimes be saved. Most of the core was wiped clean. But I salvaged something from its audio banks. Eden Prime was a major victory. The beacon has brought us one step closer to finding the conduit. That's Saren's voice. This proves he was involved in the attack. He said Eden Prime brought him one step closer to finding the conduit. Any idea what that means? The conduit must have something to do with the beacon. Maybe it's some kind of Prothean technology. Like a weapon. Wait, there's more. Saren wasn't working alone. Eden Prime was a major victory. The beacon has brought us one step closer to finding the conduit. And one step closer to the return of the Reapers. I don't recognize that other voice, the one talking about Reapers. Are they some kind of new alien species? According to the Memory Core, the Reapers were a hyper-advanced machine race that existed 50,000 years ago. The Reapers hunted the Protheans to total extinction, and then they vanished. At least, that's what the Geth believe. Sounds a little far-fetched. She's right. The vision on Eden Prime. I understand it now. I saw the Protheans being wiped out by the Reapers. The Geth revere the Reapers as gods, the pinnacle of non-organic life, and they believe Saren knows how to bring the Reapers back. The Council is just going to love this. Will they believe it? This is a lot to handle. They might just ignore everything we tell them. No matter what they think about the rest of this, those audiophiles prove Saren's a traitor. The Captain's right. We need to present this to the Council right away. What about her, the Quarian? My name is Tolly. You saw me in the alley, Commander. You know what I can do. Let me come with you. I thought you were on your pilgrimage. 
The pilgrimage proves we are willing to give of ourselves for the greater good. What does it say about me if I turn my back on this? Seren is a danger to the entire galaxy. My pilgrimage can wait. Join us. You're not ready for this? You could be useful. Um, I don't see why not, you know? I'll take all the help I can get. Yeah, exactly. Thanks. You won't regret this. Anderson and I will go ahead to get things ready with the council. Take a few minutes to collect yourself, then meet us in the tower. And we, great, we gained three new members. <laughs> Hell yeah, we'll put her in. Uh, and then we'll get, uh, Rex. Can't add any more. Well, all right, you guys, I'm going to go ahead and end the episode there. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a big thumbs up and subscribe down below if you haven't yet. Check out all the links down in the description if you're interested in any of the gear I use, and I'll see you guys in the next video.